Now, the next site I want to talk about is Google Trends, and you can find it by going to google.com slash trends. Now, Google Trends allows you to see basically the trends of a buyer market. You can see which keywords are rising so that you can look into exactly you know, which keywords you want to rank on. So if you go to the site and you type in a specific keyword term, let's say we'll, we'll stick with the low cholesterol diet, and you can actually see the interest over time. So as I can see here, it's actually decreasing. And that's specifically what I want to know. I want to know if a trend is decreasing, is it really worth getting into that market? Now, Google Trends is great for this because it tells you exactly the forecast as well. So if I click on forecast, you can see what its forecast is going to be. So they, they forecast it to go, it looks like it's just decreasing and decreasing and decreasing. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that there isn't a specific buying market in it maybe you need to switch the keyword term. So if we look down deeper, we can actually see the regional interest. The regional interest shows that the majority of people are in the United States, then South Africa, then Ireland, Australia, and so forth. And I like particularly the related searches because this gives me the exact keyword phrase that might be rising. So a specific keyword phrase that I'm thinking of might be decreasing, but you might be able to find a keyword term that is rising. So it tells us that, okay, well, low cholesterol diets may be decreasing, but high cholesterol foods, cholesterol diet plan, low cholesterol recipes are actually increasing. So even though we have found that a specific general keyword term is decreasing doesn't always mean that it's decreasing so Google Trends actually tells you what is increasing so we can actually look further into cholesterol diet plans so if you click on this here this will give you more keywords that are related to cholesterol diet plans So as you can see, it changes here, and we can see that in 2007, it, it wasn't as good, but it's increasing over time. So there are some dips, but there are some increases. So as we can see in the long term, at least this keyword, for example, would be increasing. So the keywords that are in our heads are not always proven to be increasing or decreasing. So that's why you really have to get down to the research itself so that you can see what is real and what is not. Now, one thing I like about Google Trends is that if you really want to dig deeper into a specific city that might be searching for the specific keyword, that way it gives you a better idea of who when you can market to and who to target basically so if you go under regional interest as you can see here and I click specifically United States you can see that the search volume seems to be really high in Georgia and then Florida Texas New York and California so maybe I want to dig deeper and click on Georgia Sometimes it'll show you results, sometimes it won't. But as you can see, it's, it's deep into a city and it tells me exactly which city has the most searches. So I could do a press release in that city or something like that. It gives me a better view of the long term in terms of marketing. 